Hi, this is Shadi. A few days ago, I made a video about a 15 year old boy who got his neck injured at a Jiu Jitsu competition. The message of the video was mainly about taking care of each other and really working on your technique and your ethics rather than to just bulldoze uh, through something in order to get it done, but be more technically precise. And many commented about training the neck. Uh, training the neck will prevent a lot of injuries uh, and I do believe that is true just like training your legs and your uh, vastus medialis will protect your knees and also training your tibialis muscle and your calves will also protect your ankles so today exercise is particularly about the neck and the knees you know the two great uh, injuries of a grappler and this is it when I saw it I was truly amazed now this is something that looks very advanced the way you arch your back and drop directly on your head there are ways of actually doing it um, I would say progressively uh, also this can be a little bit hazardous in my opinion uh, I would say start from a sissy squat uh, which will in return stretch your knees, your patellar tendon, your quads and really make them go to work. And from there you lay on your back and from there you do like a hip thrust with the barbell and bridge on your neck rather than to just immediately drop on your head. This is again very, very advanced being done by the, I believe, a Soviet uh, wrestler. I'm not entirely sure. But um, first, let's talk a little bit about the CC squad. This is Ben Patrick of knees over toes, uh, dunking uh, the basketball rim after uh, multiple knee surgeries. He says that this is one of the greatest exercise you can do for your knees. This is the CC squat. As I said, lay on your back, but instead of going back up and really working your quads, actually bridge on your neck while holding uh, the barbell there are several ways of doing this also everything can be done progressively just like the push-up when you start on your knees and from there you can build up to like feet elevated one arm push-up these exercises can be done the same thing so in my opinion the the wrestler was doing a very advanced way of uh, this exercise but the point is do a cc squat really stretch your patellar tendon stretch your quadriceps, uh, stretch your, um, what do you call it, vastus medialis, the teardrop over the knee. And from there, when you are on your back, this is when you bridge over your neck and you're holding the weight, which will actually train your back. Um, because when you do arch with the barbell on your hips, it's gonna really put some tension on your lower back. So the lower back is also very important for herniated discs and also your glutes your quads and your neck so this is like a full-on uh, all-in-one grappler exercise uh, in my opinion so um, I do sissy squats regularly also um, split squats anything that has to do with the knees and also you know creating a very strong foundation which is the legs ask any Japanese and they will tell you a judoka I mean they will tell you that the legs are the foundation training your legs is the most important thing and from there everything else can branch out like um, explosive uh, explosive cleans for the traps for the shoulders and also a lot of heavy dumbbell rows for the strength of the back and the strength of the grip so um, I don't know if any of you do uh, CC squats uh, because uh, it's not a very popular uh, exercise and also a lot of people think it's dangerous for the knees when in fact it's not and also continue it with a bridge on the neck very similar to the wrestler uh, don't please don't drop directly on your neck like that wrestler he is clearly advanced he is clearly very flexible particularly in the back so uh, doing uh, a sissy squat followed by a neck bridge in my opinion is a great way to train your neck and also your legs if anyone has any other opinion about this or anything that they want to add about this maybe they want to discuss it maybe they want to oppose it uh, but for me from what I've done and uh, when it comes to my knees when it comes to my back uh, stuff that I had injuries with I think this exercise can be really great training your neck I suggest everyone starts uh, training their neck and their traps this was Shadi and thank you for listening